Hey everyone, Gil here at Camp Patton Family Compound. Well, I'm started. To, I wasn't going to do it, but I went ahead and do it, did it. I you know, just just can't resist trying to grow something during the winter time. So I'm going to show you what I did here for an indoor garden, and I'm going to explain what the process is I'm doing. So that hopefully you can grow something indoors as well. All right. So let's get let's get at it here. Okay, so this is uh, what I'm using for an indoor garden. The, uh, the shelving unit is part of the six shelf uh, unit you can get from Sam's Club. It comes with the plastic um, shelf liners on it as well. The gray tubs there, they come in two packs from Sam's Club. They're um, restaurant uh, busing trays. And they hold about four and a half gallons of soil. So let me go ahead and then um, what I have down here, let me get down here so you can see it. Uh, got the, uh, the the grow lights there and down there. Those are the, uh, get the paperwork out here so you can see it. That's thing I, uh, I've talked about these on the live streams quite a bit. So, all right. Now on the other side though, wait, first of all, so the ones on the bottom, the, the three on the bottom have, um, I think it's Copenhagen um, <sighs> cabbage. Lost it there for a second. Let me grab the package. So these are the two things. I uh, So this is the Copenhagen cabbage. That's the type of tomato I got going on. And I also am planting the uh, a couple of uh, iceberg lettuces. And then, of course, I have my Grand Rapids uh, lettuce seeds I've been harvesting every year. So, so the bottom one is, is the Copenhagen cabbage. This one here has um, the iceberg lettuce in it. I got two more trays here. I got to finish filling up. So I got to get to Sam's Club and get a bag of the uh, potting mix for here. It's a, it's a potting mix that is... Uh, it's a lot better than miracle Grow. It's a lot safer for the plants. And it uh, has a lot of peat moss in it. All right, let's go on the other side here. So I got uh, the 15-gallon uh, half uh, barrel here. So, it's, you know, this was a 30-gallon barrel cut in half. So I got 15 gallons here for tomatoes, and I got a 5-gallon bucket over there. Now, what to control the lights here, because the... Electricity is cheaper at night. I have it on a timer, so basically it comes on during the night hours and then turns off during the day. So it gets all the grow light at night. And I got that plugged in right down there. So let me go ahead and just turn this on manually. <clears throat> there we go. And there we go. So right now, um, I stopped trying to get the seeds in there going because I got three seeds here that came up. I accidentally spilt a couple extra in there when I was trying to plant it. So I got three tomatoes growing in there. I'm going to, I will transplant one to the five gallon bucket here later. And then I uh, when it gets big enough, I will uh, let my daughter come get it and she can go do a five gallon bucket at her house. Um, now the each, now if you notice here, let me get in proper position here. Ugh. I got the lights on down here, but not the lights up up here. Each each set of lights has its own switch on it. So yeah, I can turn that on or I can turn it off. Same thing with the other one down there. So let's look what's growing right now. So in here, uh, look at the angle here, right there you go. You can see the one right there. And I got two other smaller ones in the back. And I just put the... Um, the gnat traps up because I spotted a gnat in here because some of the soil was mixed with the, with the, with the stuff from uh, last year so there might have been some gnats in. Now over here in this one here it's a little bit harder to see this one's coming up lower but you can see that green one there and then got one right there got one right there it's not having any green on it yet and then there's a uh, there's a green one there you can see right dead center of the screen 
And what happened to the other one? Oh, I know because it's just it's just those three, oh, just those four that are growing here right now. All right, over in this one here, I thinned this out a bunch. See all the ones I pulled out. So I got the one center screen. I got the next one center screen. And then the next one back there center screen. And I think there's another one starting to sprout up too. But um, I think I'm only, I'm going to be thinning these down so it's just one. I'm not sure how big the cabbage get. I don't know if I can do two or just one in these here. So this is an experiment on it. And of course I did also put up here, I got the, the um, since I got the iceberg up here, what I did up here, I have, uh, I put one about uh, two and a half inches over here and another one two and a half inches over there. Same thing down on that end and I put one in the middle here. And I can probably do, if I have two that survive, great. And of course I put a, uh, a uh, gnat trap up here because the net that this is where I saw one of the gnats as well up here so now if the cabbage gets too big to, for that confined space even if I lift the the, um, the lights up all the way I have a plan what I can do is I can raise that shelf there up six eight inches or whatever and then I can lower that one down eight inches and then I'll put the uh, the ones up on top, and then I'll put off the uh, here because when I lower this here down eight inches, then I'll take some of the one inch PVC pipe, put it on there, and then suspend the grow lights above whatever's uh, the the cabbage. Whenever I move the cabbage up onto this top shelf, but that spacing down there should be just fine also for the uh, for the lettuce. But if I have to put cabbage up on the top, then I can. I'll make adjustments around to make everything work give them a little bit more room and make it harv easier to harvest so that is my indoor garden um, when I get the uh, other bag of uh, potting mix I'll do uh, gr two Grand Rapids lettuce here and in the other one here when I get it filled up I will do two I'll get two more um, iceberg lettuce growing down there and if I, all the seeds come up here I'll just transplant from that one down into that one all right so that's my indoor garden and so as you can see I got stuff growing already but uh, you can grow stuff too indoors all right take care and I will see you around